السلام عليكم ورحمة الله This video is to solve exercise 1 SQL exercise 1 that you see in the practical part of this course and then uh, the second video will be for exercise 2 and the third video will be for exercise 3 um, I want you during week 10 to uh, try to practice by solving those exercises before you open the videos uh, so spend the entire week working on SQL exercise 1 exercise 2 and exercise 3 and uh, I will start with exercise 1 and then uh, in two days I will put exercise 2 solution for that and then another two days I will put exercise 3 uh, so please before you open those exercises try them yourself you can download Oracle Express edition from Google or from my apps that I have uh, uploaded here in your uh, theoretical part uh, you'll see them here in the apps section I have uh, put this Oracle Apex and down also uh, exam if these are not working for you uh, then try to download uh, the Oracle Express Edition from uh, Google and uh, try to create these two tables um, the employee table and the department table these are the two tables that we have created in the college before the midterm exam department table it has these four records and the employee table it has these 14 records okay so the, this is the first exercise that uh, that I have put for you in your uh, practical part so this is the second exercise and this is uh, a, th a third exercise which is about data manipulation language so let us start the first exercise this one this exercise, as I told you, is about these two tables, employee table and department table. All these 19 questions uh, is uh, about these two tables, about data in, in these two tables. <coughs> you will see that the solution uh, or the output for, <coughs> for the solution is displayed here under every question. Uh, some of these uh, questions have been answered in my video uh, that I have uploaded uh, last week which is uh, titled SQL queries but anyway I'm gonna go on those exercises one by one try to solve them and uh, upload them to the blackboard uh, I mean upload the video after I finish this exercise so let me start with this question list all employees whose salary is between 1000 and 2000 show employee name department and salary so this question here uh, they need these three uh, these three columns but only for those salaries between uh, 1000 and uh, 2000 inclusive of course so this select e name department number salary from employee via um, sal you can use between operator as I mentioned before and 2000 and this will give you these six records as shown on the solution for this uh, between 1000 uh, sorry 1000 and uh, 2000 so it's gonna be only six records not 12 these six records you can use also as I mentioned uh, in my previous video greater than and less than oh yeah salary is greater than and also you have to mention the worst salary in this case and sell less than or equal so in this case it will display also the same output six records as you have seen here in this second uh, exercise or second uh, question is to display the 
different types of occupations different type of occupation that means job they need job I have five different types of jobs so <coughs> this is a question they need occupation which is job so here you can say select uh, job from amp but if you select job from amp you will see uh, 14 different uh, 14 different jobs as you can see here but they need uh, the different types of jobs that means you have to select distinct distinct job from M this will display only five different jobs or you can use uh, unique select unique job from M the same thing uh, this question here question number three is list the employee number name a name job salary and department number of employees in department number 10 and 30 uh, they need this five uh, different uh, fields so let me type select and copy these fields separate them voice commas employee number employee name job so department number but for salary wire uh, sorry for uh, department number equal 10 you cannot use department number equal 10 and department uh, number equal 30 you cannot do that why because there is no department number equal 10 and at the same time there is a department uh, with the same with the same value I mean 10 and 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 30 at the same time so this will give you no 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 data found in this case you have to use or although the question says 10 and 30 you display 10 and 30 you need to use in the way close or because either those who are working in department number 10 or those who are working in department number 30 and this will give you the correct result will give you those who are working in department number 30 and also number 10 as the output shows here in this example this question is those who are working uh, or hired <coughs> during 1982 but there is nobody hired in 1982 is there actually I changed this uh, from 81 to 01 from 82 to 02 from 83 to 03 to be more recent uh, However, if you like to use this higher date, uh, which is recruitment date, they said who are recruited. Recruited mean hired during 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 1982. Let me change this one to 2002. Okay. Now, what they mean? They mean during 2002. It could be from first of January 2000 and two to 31st of December 2002 in this case you have to use like so select employee name e, e name from M why what why a higher date like and then you put percent zero two uh, that means any date any date, uh, any day, any month, but the year is 0 2 because Oracle format usually uses this day, month in three characters, and year in two characters, like that. So, this day could be any day, this month could be any month, but the year is given to you, which is 0 2. So, how do I actually cater for this? any day or any month so you have to use like with a percent like this there's only one person hired in uh, 2002 as you could see from this uh, from this table 
this guy here his name is Miller hired in 2002 this is what it displayed uh, moving on to this question list all employees whose name have th or ar in them according to the output they have one two three four four guys so let me see if i can get them uh, how do i get them those they have the letter th or the letter ar in them it could be in the beginning or in the middle or at the end so in this case also i would use select e name from m or what or e name like you have to use percent on both sides for uh, th in capital it has to be capital of course because a small will uh, uh, when you use uh, this is case sensitive in in the values in the data itself it is not case, sql is case sensitive in the values but not case sensitive in the command that means if uh, Smith, for example, ending with TH, but the whole name is lowercase, this one will not display this. So here we are ename like this or ename also like, and then also use percent and then use AR percent. And this will display any name with the TH in them or AR in them. So names like uh, Smith ending with TH or Ward it has AR here or Martin it has AR here or Clark it has AR here will be displayed as you see here in this example number six list the employees numbers and names in employee name order this is using order by only so I'm gonna select uh, let me copy the question and paste it here. Uh, what do they need? They need employee number and employee name. So here, employee name uh, and employee number order by from M and then order by what? Order by what? The question says order by employee name so order by e name as I said in a previous video this will display uh, all those names uh, select e name employee employee EMP number from employee order by employee name this will display this I did mention this in a previous video when I talk about ascending and descending here yeah, this is the default is ascending but if you put um, the EEC that means will display this in uh, reverse order putting W first and uh, A last mm -hmm. Although the solution for this one as you could see find the names jobs salaries and com commission for all employees who do not have a, com a manager yani do not have a manager means uh, the for for all employees who do not have managers uh, do not have manager means managers is null mgr here mgr is null so let me copy the question first and let me see what they want they want this let me list them here select uh, these fields employee name job sal com from amp wire wire MGR is null. If you look at my table, uh, the only person who doesn't have MGR manager is this guy, Mr. King. He doesn't have uh, 
manager he doesn't have a commission also his commission is null but not only uh, Mr. King that the commission is null there are 10 other employees that they don't have commission or commission is null but Mr. King is the only one who, ha who doesn't have a manager because he is a president he doesn't have manager so his manager is null so here if you like to execute this statement to see what happens so only Mr. King is a president this is his salary he doesn't have commission but also manager is null so even if you include MGR here which is not uh, mentioned in the answer but if you put MGR also you will put MGR is null um, okay this question here list all salesmen in descending order to of their commission divided by salary so this one um, they need uh, this to be ordered by commission divided by salary so I have to divide commission by salary and then order by that uh, uh, by that by that calculated field so let me here select uh, employee name commission divided by salary then commission and then salary from amp okay here it is these are for 14 rows but for who uh, list all salesmen they said they only for salesmen so th they have to mention a restriction here and the restriction here is for the job uh, because those who are working as salesmen so the job is salesman I have to use a wire clause here however wire job equal salesman so this one will display only those who are working as salesman so this is for rows as displayed in this but order by what you see here 1.12.4 0 0.18750 0. Um, so you have to order by order by what order by this commission divided by sal so you have to execute the entire result like that uh, in descending order so you have to use descending here to uh, see that 1.124 1 1.1 and 0 is the last as you can see here from this so this output is similar to this output Martin Ward Alan Turner are listed here so uh, this is a question which is salesman it's a job descending order here and uh, commission divided by salary this is com divided by sal uh, moving on to this question number 10 find all the salesmen in department number 30 who have salary greater than or equal to 1500 so I have two conditions here first the department should be 30 and uh, job should be salesman and there are actually three conditions uh, job is salesman department is 30 and salary greater than or equal to 1500 so executing this statement this will be like this uh, let me see what they display they display the employee name salary and department number so let me list them separate them with commas here uh, forum M why what why job equals salesman this is one department number and we use the and department number equal 30 also we use and again and what sal is greater than or equal to what salary is greater than or equal to 1500 1500 okay let us see what happens here this will give me two rows Alan and Turner and this is exactly as I have seen here so there are three conditions the first condition is a job equal salesman second condition is department number equal 30 and third condition is salary greater than or equal to 1500 
question number 11 find out how many managers are in the employee table there are three managers also uh, how many managers in in the department in the department uh, in the sorry in the employee table here how many you answer the question of how many by using count count you can use these two different ways you can use count all uh, from M via where a job equal manager uh, and this will give you three count all or you can use MGR count MGR uh, those uh, where job equal manager so in, in 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 these two cases it will give you uh, three so this is uh, the number how many managers so if you go back to the to your table you'll see there are three managers this is one of them this is one of them and this is one of, one of them three all right uh, question number 12 uh, find out the average annual salary plus commission uh, for all salesmen so also you have to think about this condition which is the job is salesman but what they need they need the average annual salary annual salary means annual salary annual salary plus commission so you have to add salary plus commission annual means yearly so you have to multiply by 12 so select uh, average of uh, salary plus commission multiplied by by 12 why multiply by 12 because annual you can use uh, alias here you can use annual alias annual salary as I mentioned in previous video this is an alias but uh, average annual salary for who for those who work for as as a salesman so annual salary the average annual salary is 23 823 uh, 2000 uh, 23400 this is what I get yeah here it is find the highest and lowest paid employees at and the difference between these salaries uh, highest is use max max salary and mean is the lowest mean sal and also the difference between them difference between them you have uh, as I mentioned in the previous video you use max minus mean uh, from employees so this one will give you 5,800 and as I mentioned before also you can use alias for this you can use the word maximum here or highest as I used it before you can use minimum here you can use difference okay as I use here poor rich and difference they use here poor this is rich actually not poor rich the poor one is a uh, minimum and the difference is uh, uh, maximum minus minimum that's the difference between them so this is uh, the output here <coughs> find the number of characters in the longest department name longest department name and in department name if you select uh, if you select uh, D name from department 
uh, you will see that uh, department names are accounting, sales, operation, research, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. So 10 is in the maximum. So you can, but you can use uh, maximum, max, max what? Maximum length. Length is a function also. Maximum length. Uh, length of what? Length of D name. So you have to use uh, two function here. The first function is the length of D name. Because here, look, length of D name by itself will give you what? Length of D name from the department. And what will it give you? It will give you this 10, 5, 8, and 10. These are the different uh, types of different uh, department names, uh, the longest, the characters in this department name. But you have, he said, maximum. So here I have to have max as an outside function. And then when execute it, you will get only number 10. <coughs> so this is the maximum length of that department. Here, count the number of people in department 30 who receive a commission. OK, the number of, uh, of uh, those who are uh, in department table the number of people in the department 30 department 30 that's from employee table of course but uh, those who are using using uh, was, uh, using a commission so let me copy this uh, question <coughs> all right they need uh, receive a commission count all uh, and count of com from employee where com is not null count all and count commission <coughs> and here I think they they uh, they also they said uh, according to the answer they are looking for those who have Salaries. The answer here comes four and four. Those who have com those who have received a commission is only four. As you could see from my table here. One, two, three, four. But they said department number thirty. In department number thirty, a hose <coughs> and department number equal thirty. Mm. There should be four actually, not six. Uh, this uh, four questions. They don't have an answer here. But they said list the average uh, commission of employees who receive a commission and the average commission of all employees treating employees who do not receive a commission as receiving zero commission. Let me just copy this uh, question here. And uh, I have a prepared solution for each one here. And let me compare my solution to this uh, text of the question. Uh, this is number 16. List the average commission. This is average commission of the employees who receive a commission. And the average commission of all employees 
this is the average commission of all employees treating the those who 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 receive a commission uh, who uh, have uh, not received a commission as if they are receiving zero commission so as i mentioned in previous video use nvl not null value function and then the first argument is the field come and then zero that means if we find any null in this commission treat it as zero uh, if i don't use uh, round this will give me decimal places as uh, you could see here so this one will give me with a lot of decimal places <coughs> here they said uh, they didn't actually ask for rounding but if you like to use round you can use round here uh, round this to nearest decimal less and it will be like this this is the average commission of employees who receive a commission and uh, this is uh, the average commission of all employees so this is divided by 4 but this is divided by 14 why because there is 10 people that are not uh, receiving any commission we treated their commission to be zero so the total commission uh, the average commission is 550 only for four people because those are receiving a commission but this one for 10 people that's why it has 157 this question here list the average salary uh, of uh, employees that receive a salary and the average commission of salary the, of the employees that receive commission the average salary plus commission of uh, only those employees that receive a commission and the average salary plus commission of all employees including those who do not receive a commission so you have to divide it uh, into this set so let me just first copy the, the answer and try to match it with this text of the question okay look they said uh, select the average salary of employees uh, that receive a salary then comma this is the average salary forget about round right now this is the average salary the average commission of employees that receive a commission comma so this is the average commission forget about round right now and then the average salary plus commission this is the average salary plus average commission here and the average salary plus commission of all employees including those who do not receive a commission that means also here you have to use uh, uh, average salary plus average a commission but here you are using NVL because you would like to treat those who do not receive a commission as receive, receiving zero commission I put round in all of them because if I don't put round there will be a lot of decimal places displayed with this function so the output will be this one I can actually change this title here by using this uh, according to this uh, question I can use an alias for this but this is the average salary this is average commission this is average salary plus average commission this is the average salary plus average com including this so this is divided by four but this is divided by t by ten uh, for the salary plus average salary plus average commission uh, because here I'm treating those who do not receive a commission as if they are receiving zero commission using non not null value all right question number uh, 18 according to this question here compute the the daily uh, the daily and hourly salary or for employees in department number 30 round the result to uh, nearest 10 cents or pence assume there are 20 working days in the month and eight working hours in a day 
if you assume that there are 20 working days in 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 the month yani instead of 30 days there are 20 days because there are two weekends every week two week, week weekends in every in every week so because five working days in a week five multiplied by four which is 20 days and then there are eight hours working uh in that uh, in, in every in every day okay so what do they need they said compute the daily and hourly salary of employees in department number 30 in department number 30. so here uh let me copy this one uh, the salary divided by 20 forget about rand right now yani salary divided by 20 to give you the daily the salary assume that we have a monthly salary i'm going to divide it by 20 yani 20 days to give me the daily the daily um uh pay daily money but if i divide it by 160 because they are eight uh eight uh, hours in a day eight hours in a day so it's going to be eight multiplied by five days a week multiplied by uh 20. eight multiplied by five is 40 40 multiplied by uh, 8 multiplied by 5 is uh, 8 multiplied by 5 is 40 40 multiplied by 20 okay so here I have to multiply 40 40 days mm. actually well, 160 is because five day five uh, five days five days multiplied by eight that's uh, uh, 40 hours 40 hours uh, a week we have four weeks four weeks 40 times four 160 hours and you know, we have one uh, one hour and one 160 hours in the months i hope that you understand this uh, 160 coming from where coming from this how many uh weeks four weeks how many um days in a week five how many hours in a day eight so if you multiply eight hours by five this is 40 40 times four which is 160 but this will give you of course uh, for all employees he said they need it for department number 30 so i'm gonna say wire department number equal 30 and then i'm going to use round here round uh here rounding the salary uh and rounding the daily salary and rounding the hourly salary just round without any decimal places well they said to the nearest 10 pence 10 pence you have to use comma one here and comma one this is the nearest 10 pence or 10 cents so he's gonna be uh, one decimal place after this this is the solution for this question this is the monthly salary as listed in the table okay 
this is a daily uh, because this one is divided by uh, 20 uh, days and this is the hourly and each each hour if you if you multiply this by 5 and then multiply it by uh, by uh, any uh, multiply this by 5 and then multiply it by 4 then you will end up having this one so here this is the last question uh, which is display or issue uh, the same query but this time truncate use trunk to the nearest tempens so I'm gonna do the same thing but instead of round use trunk uh, trunk what is trunk trunk is is gonna cut the decimal place instead of uh, rounding to the to the to the nearest decimal place is gonna use is gonna cut this decimal places so here we're gonna be only let me remove this uh, decimal place cut look at this 7.8 it used to be 7 by 8 now only 7 so if you use round for example let me execute the previous theory uh, previous query for this one which has uh, 7.8 here 7.8 but if you use trunk if you use round and remove this decimal place what do you get you get 8 right 8 because 7.8 is almost 8 7.8 is almost 8 and so forth but if you use trunk instead This would be seven, so he's gonna cut it instead of uh, rounding it. So he's gonna cut the decimal place, which is 0.8. Even if it is 0.99, he's gonna cut it. So trunk will just remove the decimal place. So this is uh, the 19 questions for this exercise, and uh, I hope that uh, you try to execute it uh, yourself uh, for practical and then we'll see you in the next video for exercise two thank you so much